Okay, on the subject of shelter or food production, either one, this is a greenhouse, and what I want to show is that it's inflated. One of the biggest enemies, the biggest enemy to greenhouse greenhouse and greenhouse material is wind, at least in Missouri. Uh, you can have a hundred mile of wind hit that, it's going to go right over it. That is a beautiful job. It inflated very tight. The um, UV is not a not anywhere near as a problem in Colorado. Your higher altitudes, it might be, but um, in Missouri, you can put up a greenhouse. I'm going to get a close up of the rib there. They've got it wrapped there, the joint there, so there's no, you know, so it's not wearing. Heat is another, like right there, they could have wrapping there to buffer it from the, protect it from the thing. So one jumper, one, one motor and jumpers, they could have these ends inflated. They don't. They could have jumpers going to the ends. I'm going to walk around it and see if I can and see if I can see the motor. They're, they're closed and I need to get out of here. Probably don't want people wandering around in their operation here, but but look at how just beautiful that is. I mean, you, you just I'll stand back a ways and maybe maybe you know on a computer when this is bigger you get a better idea. On the phone, it's not. I mean, wow, that will make that's probably six mil. They call it four-year greenhouse plastic. That will make that four-year greenhouse plastic here in Missouri last about 20 years. I had it on my solarium, and uh, now that's kind of stupid. You can see they've got rope over that. Why, I have no idea. Oh, for shade, they got shade cloth held up. It'd be nice if they had some struts coming up and they that was held out without really interfering, but the wind's not going to hurt that. And I did find it. Here's the jumper. Or that's where the motor, the air comes in. That's the intake. There might be one on the other side also. Or that might be the only one for the whole thing. And it looks like they're jumping. I think both these greenhouses are probably inflated from the same motor. Yeah, there's the other. You can see that. I'm going to do it close up it's just a, a flange it's like a dryer vent there where I can even see it where is it there back it off a little bit there dryer vent material and that will you know plastic to cover greenhouse is about 300 bucks you're turning your $300 into $3,000 no 30,000 you can replace it every year at $300. You can replace it every 10 years. Yeah, $3,000. It's going to it's going to multiply the lifespan by at least 10 years. I, I'm I'm estimating. I mean, I can't prove that in facts and figures and all that, but not only that, but it does such a. You can walk on that. If you had softball size hail, it will bounce off. If you don't have that up there, it's going to hit it, and it's going to hit the ribs and cut holes in it. It'll shred it. It'll hit it. It'll bounce. Some of it will bounce off, but some of it's just going to puncture, just puncture, and just tear it up. So, and there's nothing in that greenhouse, but it still is worth it to keep it inflated, even though they're not using it at the moment, or maybe it's a brand new one. I don't know, but it's going to protect it. I can back off further here and get a good shot up, and then I'm going to take some pictures. So, that's it. And see, that is shade cloth on the other one, protecting it from the sun. That's where their plants are. All right, there you go, YouTubers.